it is actually a lovely drying day today. Sun's gonna come out. Nice clear sky. It's not hot like it's cold. But the washing all dry. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Dewey. Good morning, Dewey. I literally feel like if I carry on, I can declutter so much more. But I've just filled another three bin bags from sorting the wardrobe out again. I don't know where all this stuff comes from, but I will show you inside my wardrobe. Just move these. I'd say it's still pretty much full. This side is Lee's. This side is mine. So it still needs a little bit of work. I have got gym clothes hung up, but... I really want it to be even more minimal. I don't need all the things that I've got and I would like it to be more minimal. The Gucci sliders I will be selling when the weather warms up a little bit because I've not worn them. And in these drawers, I'll take it off actually and show you. In these drawers I have spare bedding, pyjamas, my long sleeve tops, some black t-shirts, some bodysuits, then in this drawer i just keep my leather jeans and some jewelry but these are getting moved they're not staying there and in this drawer i've got my gym leggings hoodie more hoodies and leggings and a pair of jeans that actually don't fit me but i love them and in the bottom drawer we have my shoes they can go because I know I'm not going to wear them. I absolutely love those. And I love those. And I love those. <laughs> I love those sandals. They're obviously expensive boots and they're a pair of Lee shoes. So they're all staying. They're my jeans. I have three pairs. Let me pop you back on the tripod. If you've been around on my channel for a while, you'll know that three pairs of jeans is amazing for me. Like... I used to have well over 30 pairs of jeans, but you soon realise that you just don't need them. When are you going to get the time to wear all 30 pairs of jeans? Probably never. But in the bottom part, I've got my hats and caps, perfumes and hair clips. I'm even working my way through my perfumes. This is a very reduced amount of perfume for me. Top shelf is purses and handbags. We're not going to go there. Some of these will be going, you won't be staying, but I'll leave them there for now and if they don't get worn they will be soon, they will be out of the wardrobe, so yeah that's my wardrobe, then this one, this houses face creams, I can get a bit closer actually, I get asked I get asked a lot what gets stored in these. So in this one, the top one is all face creams. I have eye spray, face sprays. I have Elemis body cream, face scrubs, my The Ordinary face stuff. I just keep bits and bobs in there. I have literally little bits of everything, super dewy, my Saint Tropez face mist, and then more Elemis bits. So that's what gets stored in that one. It's getting reduced down though because this is going, the bedroom's going to be plastered soon. So that's going. In the one on the left, I store a room air freshener, a packet of spare cones, 
my hair brushes, my makeup brushes, and then just some Pantene hair oil and a clamp. That's all that gets stored in that one. In the lower ones, I could have panned you down actually to see, but in the lower ones, this one stores dry shampoos, spare hand wash, deodorant, my false tan and tan and glove. And then I store some Himalayan charcoal masks, Lizelle masks, and it's basically all tan and miscellaneous stuff. And this one, it's all my hats, scarves, and gloves. And then lady bits. That's what's in that one. But like I say, all of that is going as well. It's not staying because the bedroom's going to be replastered the first or second week of May. So I'm in the process of sorting out because where the wardrobe is, I'm going to have a built-in wardrobe. Well, I'm hoping to have a built-in wardrobe there if the price is right. Because as you probably already know, it's really expensive to have wardrobes fitted. So it's just down to the price and how much they cost. But that's going... These chest of drawers are Lee's chest of drawers, so I don't get involved in them, but I filled three more bin bags and I'm gonna carry on. We're gonna go into the office and I've got a little tiny bit of work to do before I actually sort the wardrobe out in there, but it's where I store my shoes and everything. So I don't really know how it's gonna work out, but I've gotta make it work out. Today is gonna to be a busy day. Don't wanna be a moaner. Two of my little pooches are poorly. They've had diarrhea since yesterday morning. So I've not slept too well, hence why I look like this. They're okay. They're having plenty of chicken, plenty of cuddles. And the only thing I can think is they've picked something up on the walk, maybe. Now, we only ever walk them on the same field. Never, ever change it. Same one. And... The only thing I can think is they've picked something up while they've been out on a walk. Noah is fine. It's just our Peg and Dolly. They've both got very loose stools, but we don't want to speak about that because you could be eating your breakfast, your dinner or your tea. So we're not going to talk about that, but I'm going to say that's why I look the way that I do. I've not slept too well for worrying about them because you can't help but worry. They've had plenty of chicken. I just put them on a bland diet straight away so they're having plenty of chicken and a little bit of scrambled egg and rice mixed in. And they absolutely love it, they do. They're okay within themselves, they're drinking water, they're eating, but the minute I give them a little bit of bland diet, you know what happens. So yeah, that's been my yesterday and today, but I wouldn't change it for the world. I absolutely adore my little pooches. Now I'm about to sit down, write myself a to-do list and work on my Etsy orders because you have been purchasing my wax melts and it means the world to me. Thank you so much to everybody who has purchased from my little Etsy shop. It's true. There's a quote that goes round and it says, it says, when you purchase from a small business, the owner of that business does a little happy dance because you've purchased from them. Well, it's true. I do a little happy dance when I see that people have purchased my wax melts. Honestly, it means the world to me and I'm so grateful for all of your custom and making it possible for me to be able to sit here and do this. It's it's something that I'm honestly, it blows me away when I think about it, but I'm eternally grateful and I would just like to say thank you. So the first thing that's going onto my list is Etsy orders, because I like to get them out. If not the same day, it will be the next day. So Etsy orders number one. Then I need to declutter this wardrobe behind me and then I need to list some items on Vinted and then I need to edit Wednesday's vlog because I've started making Wednesday's video more of a vlog style so any scheduled videos that I add on YouTube I've just moved them up to a Sunday and I'll make the Wednesday more of a vlog style video. So if I go out anywhere, I will bring you with me. But I'm really looking forward to the shops opening. It's not long now. It's about five weeks. 
five weeks and we can go into the shops and I don't know I just want to walk around town and see the shops open I don't even want to go in half of them and shop because I'm living a more minimal meaningful life so I'm being a lot more frugal with my money and not spending as much and it's amazing how like with decluttering and becoming more minimal how your mindset changes so when I go into home bargains or I'm in Sainsbury's doing the shopping usually I will pick things up and be like I'll get that do I need that I'm not sure whether I need that but I'll get it anyway just in case I, I do need it like I'm that person in the shops where I haven't checked the cupboards or anything before I actually go shopping I just go shopping and get the stuff and nine times out of ten you end up with loads of stuff that you don't even need but this was the problem that I made I'd be in Sainsbury's in the cleaning product aisle and the perfect example of that is the cleaner that I used to use on my kitchen which was Mr Sheen I think it was Mr Sheen I don't use it anymore anyway because I use the sponge cloths on the kitchen cupboards and they work perfect but I would always go, do I need that? I'm a running short, I probably am running short. And I ended up with three bottles of it. And it's like, I don't need three bottles. I ended up donating some of them because obviously, you know, I didn't need three bottles. You just end up with a load of stuff. And sometimes, well, not sometimes, all the time, I would do that when I was shopping. So it's amazing how your mindset changes when you become a little bit more minimal and frugal. Because now, when I'm in the shops like Home Bargains, B&M, Home Bargains and B&M are terrible for it. You know, you're going in for, I don't know, dental floss, mouthwash, toothpaste, and you will come out with a trolley load of stuff. <laughs> you, you just can't help it. You end up buying all kinds of things that you just don't need. I think the visual merchandiser for B&M and Home Bargains needs a gold star because you just see people piling stuff in the trolleys. And since January, I've been doing a thing where I've not been spending nowhere near as much because obviously I have to sort my accounts out obviously for the end of year when I give them to my accountant or you know my financial consultant and the amount of money that I spend between B&M, Home Bargains and Poundland was ridiculous absolutely ridiculous I, I wouldn't even want to write it down because the things that I was going in there for were for cleaning products you know things like that anyway long story short because this is turning into a bit of a ramble since being more minimal which was back in january when i started i've become a lot more frugal so i stand in home bargains and nine times out of ten i'll either go with lee or i'll go with my sister mal and i put things into the shopping trolley and then i take them out as i'm going around because i'm like no do i really need that no i don't need that so what starts off as about seven items in the trolley by the time I get to the checkout there's two things in the trolley because I'll just put things back done it a few times I was going to buy a a charger for your iPhone and for your AirPods to just sit on and charge because they're the style that I've got and then I was I was in B&M and it was like £15 and I was like but do I really need that I don't need it so I put it back and I've been doing it with lots of things one of the culprits for me was if you've been following me for a while you'll know microfiber cleaner cloths and e-cloths i had a drawer full of them full of them because i would use around five or six a day i don't need that many you, you just don't need that many so yeah i've been a lot more frugal and saving a fortune and i've been making a mental note when i'm in home bargains and being in to really ask myself do i need that I've saved a fortune even just looking at my statements because I keep my accounts in order now at the end of the month I'll print everything off and I have one account that's used for business purposes and one account that you and my other account is used for personal things so I keep a track of everything and at the end of the month I'll print everything off I'll put it into my folder and I'll keep it for my financial advisor or my accountant whichever one it may be and we'll sit down, work out how much I've spent, what was, you know, for the business and what wasn't. I've saved a fortune. I haven't spent nowhere near as much. And I mean, I was spending a lot of money in home bargains and being humble. It's not happening anymore and it feels good.
just logged on to my Etsy and I currently have 22 orders 22 orders that's absolutely amazing so I need to go down and start packaging up these orders I did already package 14 orders from the weekend I'm eternally grateful to everyone who's purchased from my little Etsy shop it honestly means the world to me made some do crack a smile he asked if i could stay a while i'm living that high life time to catch a flight but you can make me go unlocking all the memories of my new home ventilated echoes playing to and fro to and fro back and forth yeah caught some kids dancing in the alleyway Crazy how the melodies began to play, yeah. Tell me how you feel it when you hear the lyric, yeah. My heart's in Stockholm. Now I never want to go home. I left my heart in Stockholm. She said I already told ya, yeah, yeah. I never dated a black guy. I said you brown yourself. Let me offer help. Come on inside. These are my orders ready to go out today, so thank you everyone who purchased from my little Etsy shop. These are leaving today and hopefully they will be with you tomorrow. Life, but you can make me go Unlocking all the memories of my new home Ventilated echoes playing to and fro To and fro Back and forth, yeah Caught some kids dancing in the alleyway Crazy how the melodies began to play, yeah Tell me how you feel it when you hear the lyric, yeah My heart's in stars
And now I've just pressed something on the camera and I don't know what I've pressed, I don't know what settings I'm going to be on, but I know I've pressed something that I shouldn't have pressed. I've no idea what, but it is what it is. Ah, well, we are going to, where am I going to? Poundland. We are off to Poundland, I'm going to put my sunglasses on because it's incredibly sunny. £11 from Sainsbury's. If you like Ray-Ban rounds, then you will like these little sunglasses. They were £11 from Sainsbury's. They're a recent purchase and they're comfy on your eyes. Oh, my battery's going. I've literally just set the tripod up to have a little catch-up and the battery started flashing. It's always the way, isn't it? That's a bargain, that isn't it? That is a bargain. I love these as well for the garden in the summer with the candles in or oh, fairy lights look lovely in them as well, but they don't off make the garden look lovely. These are what I'm looking for. Nice little storage baskets. I'm gonna fit much in them like. £7 each. I think I'd rather have wicker like them ones than the white. They're lovely then. They're £3.99. Oh, cutie. Lots of blingy stuff. Literally, yeah. they're nice. Four ninety nine. Put a candle in them. Even one like that. How nice is that? Oh, I don't think the cloth will go over it as well. Oh, hang on. Oh, not with that on. Four ninety nine. My God. Oh, there was more there. Oh, look at them, they're a bit Christmassy like, but they're cute for the garden. Put a little tea light in it. Ninety-nine. Very small, but it's pretty.
They're nice as well for the garden. Two packs of them. Some wedding stuff down here, I think. Yeah. Pretty sure they should be reduced because they're Christmas tentacles. And we do marble ones as well for $3.99. They're nice them. They're lovely. And then all the flowers are gorgeous as well. How good is that? A weekly planner, six ninety nine. Come to the pen. Here's the bag. These are nice for above your bedside tables. $26.99. Oh, lovely then. And they're cheaper again. $9.99. Bob Mel doesn't have the patience for me walking around taking me time. That's a little bit bored, you can see it over there somewhere, there she is. <laughs> I didn't even know this bit was here. Oh look, they like the Ikea ones. Shoe cabinet. Not as good as the Ikea, but they're all right. You have made these, of course, $39.99. They're lovely, then. A breakfast bar like this. Yeah. That many lights, you are spoiled for choice. Loads. That is like my rug, but it's called the City Mist rug. It's very similar. Yeah, that is the same, basically, as mine. Only mine's called the Aurora. That is called the City Mist in the range.
Oh my god, that feels unbelievable for the rug. I'd never move off that, it's too soft. If you need storage for a loft declutter or a house declutter, we've got tons of storage containers. These are the ones that I have in the loft. And the 5.99, the 45 litre. They've got loads. And then fridge organisation there, but you can get that in Poundland for a pound, so I wouldn't pay that. I like them lions. They're cute. Oh, how nice is that? A scooter with a table basket. Do you want a table basket? <laughs> oh, that is so cute, isn't it? Yeah. If you like that type of thing in your garden, or you yeah. could get a flower garden like that. 169.99. Very nice. Little day beds. Like everything is pink. Literally everything. Oh my god. And everything is blue. <laughs> Oh, they've got the egg chairs, the hanging egg chairs. Two four nine. Some thins, because they've got an Iceland in here. She sells everything. Oh, the danger zone. Sweets. I'm not getting any. I'm going to be good. I'm hungry. But I want crisps.